Hey, what is going on guys? My name is in the gamer tag and I'm back for another Fortnite video. As you could likely tell by the title, in today's video I'm going to be trying out aimbot settings for controller on Fortnite. I've actually shared with you guys these aimbot settings about 8 or 9 months ago and I've actually only used these settings once ever. So I figured it would be a great idea since I'm constantly getting asked do these settings work, how well do they work, do they actually replicate the style of aimbot, that I'll hop into a couple of games and try these settings out and kind of give my first impressions on them to tell you guys whether or not these really work that well and we can see if they deserve the title of aimbot settings. So without wasting any time, let's go ahead and hop right into this. So the gameplay you're seeing in the background is actually my first game ever using the settings, at least within like 9 months. So I do have a live commentary for both this game and the next game as well so you guys can hear my live reactions. However, I felt like it was definitely appropriate to kind of talk over the gameplay for now and go over my impressions on the settings and whether or not they live up to the title of being called the aimbot setting. So again, this is my first game. So realistically, I was not used to these settings at all. I'm, honestly, I was not even remotely comfortable with them. However, I immediately realized off the bat that these settings are insanely amazing and I don't know how to describe it necessarily. I will mention that they are extremely fast and I personally have always used relatively higher sensitivity settings so to make the switch over to these it wasn't too difficult whatsoever. Honestly within probably about like 10 minutes at most I was already used to these settings so if you're a player that plays on very very low sensitivity settings it will likely take you guys maybe five to six games at least to get comfortable and understand the concept of these settings alone just again because the overall speed of these is a lot higher than the average player so to summarize it and give you guys a simple short answer if these settings live up to the aimbot title I would honestly say they do and you guys can see at the top left I have an interactive counter so every time I land a shot at the shot's hit area obviously it will go up a number. And also same for misses, every time I miss a shot that will go up a number and at the end we can decide whether or not this accuracy is better than the average player. Now the average player lands about 23% of shots so let's say I take 50 shots then I will only be landing about like 11 and a half shots give or take so if we can even up both these shots hit and misses counter that is a 50% accuracy and honestly astonishingly good. If we can land more shots than we miss then obviously that is above 50% and that is even better. And you guys will see the counter for yourself towards the end of the gameplay and obviously throughout the gameplay as well and I mean not to spoil it or anything it's honestly surprising to me at least how great my accuracy was when using these settings. It's worth mentioning when I took a shot at a build that would not count obviously because I'm not taking shots at opponents and also there's definitely a couple times where I land a shot and I accidentally didn't count it and vice versa for when I miss a shot. So we're nearing the end of the first game and at this point as you guys can tell I was definitely getting a lot more comfortable with these settings and at this point I've landed about 20 shots and missed only 5. I mean I'm literally landing 4 shots for every 1 miss which is unbelievable i mean literally astronomically amazing for any fortnite player let alone a controller player on console so i certainly was very 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 pleased with these settings even after the first game of ever using them so those are my impressions i believe these settings live up to the hype here i'll leave you guys with the live commentary of the second game so you guys can hear my raw and honest reactions throughout the game itself right now i think i've missed maybe two bursts if anything everything else i've shot everything has landed What? Come on, man! I landed a 93 headshot. Are you kidding me? Bro, what is this kid's inventory? Are you ki- Bro, oh my god. Dude, that was easily a 20 kill game. But I mean, after the first game of using these settings, I mean, realistically, these are definitely the best settings I have used ever. I can definitely say they are pretty fast, especially when you build. I mean, for- majority of players that would be considered like fast sensitivity wise but i mean it definitely goes without saying like most of your shots will likely hit when using these settings it definitely will take some time to get used to though especially if you come from like a lower sensitivity and then you try to tr test these out it's going to take probably 10 games at least to get used to and i've always pretty much used faster settings for the most part so it definitely isn't a giant leap for me at least to go from my old settings to these but i mean it definitely cannot be denied whatsoever that these settings are cracked like, these are insane wait for it are 
Are you kidding me? There we go. <laughs> Oh, I ran out of ammo. Good lord, dude. Oh my gosh, we got him. Holy crap, dude. Alright, we are off to a way better start than last game, surprisingly, somehow. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> this is insane. You guys have got to try these settings. I'm not even exaggerating. Like, it feels like almost like you have to try to miss with these. Oh my gosh, dude, no way. The loot we have right now is insane. I will be so disappointed in myself if I lose this game. Does this really just do that? Dude, this kid's so annoying. No! Oh my gosh. Let's go! I love these settings. Oh my gosh, they just saved me. How do I get down? Oh my god. I can't get down. That was insane. I ran- oh my gosh. That was one of the closest plays ever, dude. Hit him. He just did all that to fall down. How do you not die? What? Some right here. Oh my gosh, dude, these settings, I can't, like, it's insane. It's right here. Dude, these settings are so cracked. Okay, he didn't even try. I think he just gave up. Not sure if that was a bot or not. Guys, these settings are insane. Oh my gosh, dude. Is someone shooting me from inside the storm? Are you kidding me? I'm so confused who shot me. Bro, it, someone's... Someone is in the storm shooting. 
I didn't get the kill for it. Oh my, I just got robbed from a kill. And I have to grab his loot. No way, dude, I just got robbed. Got one. Where's the other? Other one survived. Got two. Okay, I feel bad for doing that, to be honest. If they're watching this video, I apologize. Bro, I am cracked right now. Like, literally, I can't even describe these settings. It's insane. Once you get used to them, there's literally never a reason you should be getting eliminated. <laughs> for the most part. Uh, is that people over there? Are people fighting? What, what's happening? I think that's them. Or... What? Okay, there's no way these are the final three people. One. It is a bot. The final three were me and a bot. Alright, let's have fun. Hey. Let's go, dude. Bro, that was insane. So... 13 elimination game, the past two games, I mean, I was literally landing every shot that mattered, for the most part. That's insane, guys. Alright, guys, so there you have it. Those are my first two games, believe it or not, of using these settings in the longest time. And just to give you, like, a conclusion about these, honestly, I can't even imagine settings that are better than these. Honestly, the amount of shots that I were landing compared to the amount of shots that I was missing is incomparable to any other settings that I've ever used. Don't get me wrong, if you're a player that typically plays on very low sensitivity settings, it's definitely going to take, you know, probably 10 games at least to get used to these. But if you're a player that plays on medium to faster sensitivity settings, it doesn't take that long at all to get used to these settings alone. And once you get used to them, you are literally unstoppable. Your aim is going to be better than anyone you run across. And as long as you play level-headed and make smart and educated decisions, basically there's no reason you should be losing more fights than the ones that you are winning. Anyways, if I were to rate these settings on a scale of 10, they're literally like at least a 9.7, if not a 10 all the way. I strongly recommend you guys try these out for yourselves. Again, I have a couple of videos where I share with you guys these settings, so check them out on my channel or a link in the description down below. Nonetheless, if you guys enjoyed today's video or found it helpful, a like would be beyond appreciated. And of course, on the contrary, if you genuinely dislike today's video, then by all means, feel free to leave a dislike as well. And of course, if you're new around here and would like to see more daily Fortnite content like this in the future, feel free to subscribe as well as turning on those post notifications. Nonetheless, my name is Gamer Gamertag. Thank you all for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. Adios.